Good morning, good afternoon, or good night. Hope you guys are having a great day. Anyways, hey, let's hit it. Hey, wasn't uh last chapter so much positive and fun? But hey, uh, not only are we going to talk about flexibility in life, we're going to talk about flexibility at work. So let's get started. So, um, how do you be flexible at work? I think in college, one of the best quotes that I'm always going to keep forever was not when I was going to become a teacher. Uh, one of my professors stood up in front of us on day one and said, all right, raise your hand if you're flexible. And then he's like, raise your hand if you're not flexible. And there are some people who raise their hands and he goes, this job will break you. And we all just look at each other stunned. And he goes, that's right. If you are not super flexible, uh, being a teacher or any professional, you will break. So I was like, okay, I better be flexible. And that's going to be in my advice to you guys is um, you're going to have to be flexible. There's going to be times where you feel like life is just going to break you and you just have to keep bending and accept the fact that you're going to have to be uh, flexible and open to change. So how can we do that? Number one, Oh, you're not going to like this one. Uh, stay in your lane. When you first get hired, remember, people, a company, a business, an organization, um, they have hired you to do a specific job. Stay in your lane. Know your job description. Don't think, oh, I'm smarter than my boss. Well, yeah, that might be true, but guess what? That's not your role yet. Maybe that's a goal that you guys want to work on, but stay in your lane. If you work at McDonald's and your job is to be the cash register, that is your job. Uh, if somebody else is doing something wrong, maybe mention it to your boss, but don't just step in and be like, oh, let me flip burgers, let me do the fries. No, that's not your job. Stay in your lane. Maybe someday you will move up to that manager, system manager position but stay in your lane, do your job. I know that's rough, isn't it? Unless you're called to do more, then, then go ahead. Um, be open to new ideas. I always find it amazing that I have this great idea in my mind, and then somebody else, even a student or a friend, might mention something, say, hey, I've got this idea, and I'll just like stop, and my mind will like explode. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's even better. Um, let's do that. So be open to new ideas. Um, one thing that I tell young professionals all the time, people in uh, even 19, 20 years old, um, <coughs> if you're called up to be in a uh, leadership position, go for it. Take the challenge. I know it's going to be extremely scary, but somebody may have seen something in you that says, hey, you know what? Like You're showing... Um, some absolute great skills us in this area. Yeah, you might feel young, but step up, take the challenge, um, which perfectly leads on to the next one. Be calm, cool, confident, collective, uh, all those C's. Realize on the inside, you might be completely scared out of your mind, but hey, just uh, go for it. And if you're scared out of your mind, uh, fake it until you make it. The only one that knows you're scared is you, and that's okay. I remember I got brought up at 22 years old to do, I used to be a high school uh, referee for basketball. I got called up to do college, and I was scared out of my mind. I was like, hey, you know what? I am going to fake it until I make it. Somebody saw something in me that said, hey, you can do this, kid. Um, so I was like, all right. And I remember the few, first few basketball games, I was puking in the bathroom beforehand because I'm like, this is going to be on TV. This is a big deal. And when I got out there, nobody was a wiser to know how scared on earth I was. On the inside, I was a crying little kid. On the outside, man, you thought I would have been a 10, 20-year veteran doing that. Um, so wherever you guys are at, step up to the challenge. Age is just a number. Uh, you guys are entering into the workforce, take the challenge, go for it. And if you're somebody on the other end where you're a little bit older and you see all these young bucks who know all the stuff about technology, step right in. Hey, guess what? You have experience that they don't. Offer that up realize that you have a lot to contribute and there's going to be things that you're going to show those young bucks that they're like oh I still have a ways to go yeah you might not be the best on the computer or an iPad or an iPhone or something um, and shout out to Android I want to make sure that I cover all my bases I'm not preferable to any type of technology or another um, but step up and hey you know what if you don't know how to do something sneak on to uh, the internet later on 
and teach yourself how to do that. Um, just the other day, my dad called me up and said, hey, I need some uh, help with uh, the printer. It's not working. And I couldn't help out that day. Later on that day, my dad called me up. Hey, I figured it out. I went on to YouTube and I uh, learned how to teach myself how to fix this. I was so proud of him. Um, except that you do not know everything. I love the people who are like, oh, I know everything. And usually they're, they're the first ones to show that they don't know everything. So accept the fact. Um, I love in class when students ask me a question like, hey, what about this? And I just look at them completely flabbergasted. I'm like, that is a fantastic question. Hey, go do your research and find out online tonight what uh, the answer to that question is. And if you share that with us, I'll throw you extra credit. And I think a lot of students are impressed. They're like, hey, you don't know everything and you're willing to be vulnerable and, and to show that that's okay. So if you don't know something, Ask, and especially if you're in a, uh, a work site that might be slightly dangerous and you don't know a question, ask because that question might keep you safe and keep you alive. So if you don't know, ask. It's okay. You might feel embarrassed about it. That's okay. It might keep you alive. Uh, and my last one, do hard things. <laughs> this life is really short. Um, and you got to get past just the easy stuff. So do the easy stuff, do the medium stuff, but hey, do hard things. Take the challenge. Get out of your comfort zone. Uh, Dr. McDonald uh, from Whitworth University, I took a class there um, on leadership, and his comment was get out of your comfort zone. The only way to grow is to get out of your comfort zone. So do hard things. Look at something when all of a sudden a challenge comes up and you're like, oh, I could not do that. And you're like, hey, you know what? I'm going to try it. You know what? You might surprise yourself and succeed. And hey, if you fail, hey, guess what? You were expected to do that anyways. But you tried. That's all that matters. And finally, I love this. If plan A didn't work, the alphabet has 25 more letters. Stay cool and stay committed to your decisions, but stay flexible in your approach. Just like last chapter I was talking about, have your end goal, your end game in mind, but be flexible how you get there. If you are on some random, fun, wild um, trip from Spokane, Washington to Denver, Colorado, realize that there are numerous ways to get there. Uh, true story, this did happen one time. We decided to drive there straight because we had to go to Denver um, for a college class. And um, we realized there's numerous ways to get there, not just one. We all fought over the map on how to get there. And that was before we all had GPS. So anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. Stay flexible. Have a wonderful day.